right here we are again um, let me just play around with my laptop and find um, where I can uh, share this video across I have to say my laptop was going a little bit funky just now so I live in hope that I will be able to share it across um, I will obviously at some point but um, hopefully we'll be able to do that now um, but while that is sorting itself out this uh, where are we fourth suite of products that I am going to be sharing with you now um, actually both this one and the final suite of products that I am going to be sharing with you now um, I have got to confess to you I have not even opened the packets um, I ordered these um, which you know in um, normal times would have been in plenty of time for me to have got my hands on them and to play with them um, by yesterday morning I was beginning to panic that they weren't going to show up at all um, I had to go and collect them from the collection point quite late yesterday or Mike actually went and collected them for me quite late yesterday afternoon um, well tea time so by the time I'd cooked tea and got myself organized I haven't even had time to look at them. So we are going to be playing with these two suites of products together, which is very exciting. I apologize for all the noise that my laptop is making in the background. Um, it's sort of decided it's almost virtually starting from scratch um, for whatever reason. So this first um, of the products that I haven't played with yet that we are going to play with together is called the Sand and Sea Suite. Um, let me just see if I can share that. Why is everything, why, why is it sort of like, you know, there's some law of the universe, isn't there, that when you want something to do something sort of, you know, promptly and in good time, it is very, very slow. I don't want to share it to my story. I want to share to a group. Um, so the Sand and Sweet project, um, product suite, or the suite, as you would expect, features... Um, sand and seashells and things you would find um, at the beach. It has a lovely sort of soft pastely um, palette to it um, and it looks absolutely stunning. Um, as I say I've not yet played with it, I've obviously seen and heard about it from other people but let us gather together the bits that you get in this suite. Now we have some embellishments and fun little pieces there and we have obviously some DSP and we also have some pearlized card. So let me grab that. That's not what I want. That's the next one. That's what I want. And that one. Okay. So let's have a look at what we have in this suite. So sort of medium size suite. You've got um, a stamp set which is rather beautiful. It's actually a photopolymer stamp set and there is two stamps, two sort of sheets there. So you've got some really quite big images, some slightly smaller sand seashells and things, starfish. Um, really beautiful detail on these stamps. You've got some squiggly stamps that will enable you to add some colour to some of these bigger stamps. You've got quite a few sentiments in there. You are unique and completely amazing. Friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. So happy I found you. So lots of really lovely greetings in there. We have a die set. 
Now I've not, as you can see, I've not opened them. So they're not on magnetic sheets. We've not done any of that yet. I am excitedly opening this. You are opening it with me. So let's open up this die set. And you have one very big die here, which I will ease off the sticky background just there. I do actually have, is that a full size? I'm not sure I'm convinced that it is. Um, so we have one very big die and then we have these little ones and these little ones are going to, so that will cut out that. This will cut out this little shell here. Um, you've got this bit of seaweed, your starfish, and that is, oh, I should imagine perhaps is it this one here, do you think? So you've got these dies that will cut these out and then you've got these big dies. Now these big shapes just here, are actually going to cut out this shell and this shell and that shell and I would imagine that shell. So they are all going to be cut. You can cut all of those out with those dies. So you can use it just as a single die to cover over that one stamped image, run it through, and it will just cut out that individual shape because you've got the, the cut line going round it. You might have to trim it slightly in places, um, but that will give you your sort of basic outline of those shells. And then you have a 3D embossing folder. Now, as I open up this 3D embossing folder, you might start to see the sort of um, theme running through because this 3D embossing folder will actually completely match that die cut image just there and give it some embossed features so you can stamp sort of in cut out your shape stamp your images in the gaps and then run it through the embossing folder and give it some 3d detail so the stamps the dies and the embossing folders all work together and i think it's safe to say we'll have a play with that in a minute won't we if we don't do anything else we will play with that so that's the dies and the stamp set and the embossing folder. So they are all looking rather lovely. We have these opal rounds. So they are just little dots. We're now getting into the point of the day where we've lost the natural light. So we're having to work on lamps and things, but they are very beautiful. You sort of get the iridescent effect that you do get with opals. So those are the opal rounds. We have got some seaside shells. If I pop this little packet open, now these are pearlescent. I don't know how well that's going to pick up. Oh yeah, you get a sense there with that pearlescence. So you've got a variety of different shells, three sheets there of these little shells that are just going to are they sticky? They are, they're stickers. They're self-adhesive. You're going to be able to use those on your projects, which is rather lovely. And here we have this paper. As I say, I've not even opened it. So let's open it up. and the shells, it's that beautiful, that's sort of more of a, <clears throat> almost looks like salt effect, so that as if there's been watercoloured and scattered salt, but to give it that watery effect, look at those sea urchins, oh, isn't that pretty? That's pretty isn't it, so you've got the sort of multi-tonal effect there most um yeah not quite um 
uh, sunset, but really pretty. Got the starfish on there. Oh, look at that. That's almost like ice cream, isn't it? Raspberry ripple ice cream. Very beautiful. Lovely. That looks as if it's, it should be bobbly. Should be sort of almost sandy in texture. You can see the sort of dibbles in the the surface, but it isn't. It is completely smooth. And there you've got your sh shells and things on the background there. And then this one is those blue waves of colour with lots of little dots on the back. What beautiful papers! So that is the beautiful, beautiful papers that you get in that pack. <coughs> And then you've got this pearlescent card, it's just stunning. You can imagine cutting shells in there. Beautiful. And you get two 12 by 12 sheets in that pack. White with pearlescent sheen. It is beautiful. So, Pearlescent paper, 12 by 12 DSP, your seaside shells, your opals, the embossing folder, the stamps and the dies. Gorgeous, absolutely lovely scrummy stuff. So, now to play with it. What shall we do? Well, I think we're going to have to have... Um, one project where we're going to have a play with the uh, the, the dies and the embossing together. Um, but I think first we'll do a, perhaps a slightly simpler card. I think I'm going to take this embossing folder, which is just beautiful you can have it going that way but there's no reason why you can't turn it round and have your shells going in different directions and I think I'm going to take some seaside spray just because well we're at the sea why wouldn't you the colors in this suite actually what have we got flirty flamingo um, melon Mambo, So Saffron, Sahara Sand, Seaside Spray. Beautiful. So soft yellows and blues and pinks. Touch of green. I'm going to take a piece of this cardstock and I'm going to cut it 13.9 by 9.5. So that's not the same size as your card base. It's not the sort of first mat down. It's sort of like the second mat down. So if you don't use UK sizing. That's where it sits. I'm going to sit that in that embossing folder. I want to try and capture as much of the shells as I can. And then run that through. It's obviously going to have to go through the big machine because it's um it's a full size embossing folder. So too wide to go through the mini machine. We have of course got some little embossing folders that will fit through it, but it's not one of them. Oh crash! So look at that, isn't that beautiful? So we've just embossed that piece of card. Do, 
with it with this sea urchin paper. I think I might take some of that. I didn't get round to running anything down this groove. Let's Oh yes, there's a whole load of gunk in there, isn't there? Let's um, get rid of that. I'm working it too hard. Right. I'm going to take a piece of this. I'm just going to have sort of a section in the middle. I don't want it to be... Big. I think I'm going to go set. I think when I caught that blade, I got on early on, I caught my blade on a die that was resting underneath some paper. I wonder if I bent it slightly. That's all that paper. I'm going to grab a bit of Sahara sand card. I'm rustling through the uh, my scrap pieces of card down here. Did that didn't we? So let's cut the piece that's eight centimeters. They really are going to have to dig about and find a new blade, I think. Just given that a little bit of a border of Sahara sand. I'm going to come in and cut another border of Sahara sand for our embossed background. So we're going to cut this at 14.4 by 10. So this is whatever your first size mat would be on your card base. Dear, oh dear. Definitely something funky going on with that blade on my trimmer. I think I did, must have damaged it slightly because it's not like my uh, trimmer to be playing up like that. Right, so there we are. We have a nice bit of background paper we have that embossed background image let's score this and create a card base it's a standard size card base so for us here in the UK, half a piece of A4 is ten and a half centimetres by fourteen point. Well, it's fourteen point eight and a half officially. So we're around about fourteen point nine. Looking lovely. Let's um, let's have a little look at our stamps. to take the starfish. What are our three little dies? What are our dies that we can cut out separately? This little star this little shell just here. I'll have a couple of those and 
a little bit of seaweed I think into my scrap bits of white card still using them up uh, let's grab some seaside spray see I would think that's not quite flirty flamingo I would think that sort of softer shade is probably blushing bride Is the paper listed yeah, Blushing Bride. Let's have some Blushing Bride. We want some Sahara Sand. a couple of shells it's going to come gently over the top with a blender pen just to add in a little bit of colour I'm only using ordinary white cardstock so I don't want to work it too hard Our little starfish. Want a slightly bigger block for him. And I think we'll go with blushing bride. And again, let's just add in. A little bit of shading of colour, nothing too fancy. And then I'll take the seaweed. We'll go with three of those. Now we need to die cut those out. Let's bring our little machine across. and a little shell and a wiggly bit of seaweed wiggly bit of seaweed wiggled because I'm trying to be clever and not tape them down and 
not being wholly successful. Sometimes you just have to take the extra time to tape it down. Unless you've got magnets or something involved. Let's just see if that's just a little bit of tape will just hold them in place. My bottom plate has bowed slightly so that sort of tends to make it wiggle as I put the top plate on until I've got it so that it's running through. Sorry that you're wobbling. So one starfish, one piece of wobbly seaweed, one little shell, Move the starfish out of the way and line up our second little shell, our second piece of seaweed. Take our shell off, and then last but not least, we need this final piece of seaweed. I'm sure the seaside is something that we're all hoping that we're going to be able to somewhere we're hoping to get to visit this year. I know I certainly didn't get anywhere near last year. So let's see what this year brings. So thinking but it might be quite nice just to have a little something of bellum behind there have the story label. Let's punch a little bit of vellum from the story label. It will just give a little bit of um, contrast between the paper. It will just help it to pop out from the paper a little bit. And then let's find decide what greeting we would like. Love you to the beach back. What about you are unique and completely amazing. We are of course all unique and completely amazing.
Grab some Sahara sand. Beautiful. Not those scissors, those are my ribbon scissors. We're not going to be slipping card with those. And my bag of just jade scraps upside down. Not particularly helpful. Right. Let's stick this together. to stick my embossed beautifully deep embossed cardstock swing that over for some reason I've got a bit of stamping on the other side to this piece of card We'll stick this to the centre here. I'm going to position that label. Let's just move that out of the way for a moment. Position that label just there because obviously being vellum, not necessarily looking to put whole lot of glue on there but if I hold stick that on there oh that's going to help to stick that down and to take this piece of seaweed here and have that coming just up there this piece go 
Coming around there. And this one coming out down here. And I have my dimensionals gone. There they are. Have that star in there. Let's share down there. this shell I apologize if you hear comings and goings behind me I've got my son about to go out to work my husband just coming in from work everybody is busy backwards and forwards in hi Vicky yeah they're beautiful aren't they as I say my kit didn't arrive until very late yesterday tea time so this is my first opportunity to play with it but it is very beautiful so I don't really want to put anything else behind there because I don't want to hide that embossed detail in the background because it just is simply stunning. Let's put that on a bit of a jaunty angle. I do love that sea urchin paper. So there we are, just a bit of stamping, a bit of die cutting using that embossing folder. And we've got a really pretty seaside card but I think we need to have a play with this sort of combinations of stamps and dies and embossing folder Some of these bits out of the way and we will there we go find this big die I don't think I've managed to drink a hot cup of tea today I think they've all been cold never mind I've been busy, busy, busy. It's kept me on the go. But it is lovely to be able to share all these beautiful things with you. Let's just pop those stamps back in there so we don't lose them. To um, pop in those on a magnetic sheet at some point. We move the catalogue out of the way. Sorry, just wobbling you. Right. I think I'm going to take a piece of. Um, very vanilla cardstock because that's not in short supply. <laughs> I think actually my whisper white, my ordinary whisper white cardstock will possibly hold out until it comes into stock.
And it took me to run that through my large die cutting machine. Just need to rebuild. Bossing just now. Um, there you are. So we've run that through and what we get, I get my pokey tool. So we get this beautiful outline. How fun is that? Now, if I bring on my big shells, is that going to fit on there? Yes, it is. So, let me think. Um, let's go crumb cake. I'm going to pick up some pear pizzazz for our background here. My glass mat, so many people ask me about my glass mat. I've had, Vicky, I've had my glass mat for oh, years and years and years. Probably um, 16 years. It actually is, is it a um, I can't even think what make it is now. It is a tonic. It's a tonic glass mat. Mine is uh, sort of, well, it's about just over 12 inches by 12 inches. I think you can get them bigger. Um, but they are really useful because they are glass. Um, you can ink on them and it, the ink doesn't soak in. It sits on the surface. You can cut with craft knives and, you know, that's okay on, on them. And yeah, just wipe it down. I get gluey marks and things on it and just give it a good scrub. Um, yeah, really, really useful. And the fact that you've got your grid on it. So it's not a stamping up product. It is one that I've had for years and years and years. Um, but I have so many people comment on it it's one of those things I've had it so long I just take it for granted you know what I mean <laughs> you just have things don't you that they've just been around for such a long time um what colors should we go with um, might bring you a bit of cinnamon cider No, I think Rococo Rose is going to be too, although I might do off, stamp off Rococo Rose, take it down a, down a notch. I might stick with um, some seaside spray. Let's see how that, where that takes us. So I'm going to go crumb cake, I think, with this big shell. So let's ink that up. line that up on there I'm sure it's going to be fairly forgiving as 
to say. If there isn't any, here's one I've done earlier because I haven't. Ooh, I wanted to come over a little bit. But beautiful stamp. Lovely um, detail in that stamp. Um, I think I'm going to go Rococo Rose with this large shell. Now with this large shell I could, there is a sort of infill stamp that I could use but well, we'll see how we go. I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper because I'm going to ink up this shell with Rococo Rose but then I'm going to stamp it off just to tone it down a little bit. Oh yes, quite like that. That's a nice shade. Let's take this shell here. And again, I'm going to come in with him inside it, but again, I think I might stamp it off first just to take it down a notch. So this is obviously something, one, if you're not trying to do it around the side of a camera, um, but two, your eyes, you, you, I tend to find that with these sorts of stamps, you sort of, you, you, you get your eye in, if you know what I mean, you start to realise, oh, I need to line that up with that, and if I've got that less stood up against that, that will be spot on. Um, obviously, I haven't had time to play those sorts of games yet. I think that one goes in there. So let's have the seaside spray for that one. And then just that final shell, which I think is that one. So I could get my scissors and just snip these shells out. If I wanted these shells, you know, individually, there's no reason why I couldn't snip around them and cut them out and have those as individual shells. Um... Colour shall I go for that? Mm. Might go a bit of calypso coral. Bringing a bit of coral into it is going to be no bad thing, is it? But again, I think I might stamp that off because I think it might be a little bit too. I think a little bit too bright if we go on solid colour that's quite fun right I'm going to grab a um, See the one I want, that's it. Pear pizzazz. So I've got my pear pizzazz dauber here. Let's just for the seaweed and actually that will disguise quite nicely where I didn't quite hit that shell right mm. 
Right, so we've stamped, we've die cut, we've stamped. Let's open up our embossing folder. And let's let's line that up. About like that, I think. And again, I'm going to need to run that through my big machine. With the number one base plate and the number four embossing plate. Fingers crossed. Oh, wow. So, obviously, you haven't got Phoebe Vision like I have, but hopefully, you can see how much texture and depth that has given to those shells that is well, that's just fabulous I do like that very much I'm thinking as much as I don't want to use the back of that paper I do think that just that sandy background would be rather beautiful so let's just cut a piece of this I think it is pretty well as wide as a piece of um, the card base is going to be I'm going to 0.3 centimeters I'm coming this way rather than 14.9 have it at just under 14.7 I have here with a very vanilla card base so that paper will just be a smidge smaller than that and then we have that paper on the top Fussy cut those shells out to your heart's content, couldn't you? I am. And when I come off of this live, going to find myself another blade. Because I really don't know what I've done to that one. <laughs> I've done something. Right, you can see on the reverse how deep that embossing is. Up close it's just beautiful. And obviously you could be doing that with your pearlized card, that would be stunning. Thinking about where I got my mat from, I, I got mine from a craft show, as I say years ago um, but a member of my team has quite recently got one from Amazon so I think they are still readily available let's twist that round so that that fits on there Of 
we're have, wishing you the very best. cake on to it's not very vanilla on to very vanilla that was shimmery white first glance sometimes they are quite difficult to tell apart that's hanging off the edge of that block so instead of wishing you the very best it's just wishing you the very bees and who wants to be wished the very bees nobody that's better you the very best that down there actually and then if only I can find them I might come in with a couple of opals Ooh, one stuck to my finger let's add that one in there Put that one down there. I'm going to go for a slightly smaller one that will fit in there. So there we go. We've had a play with the Sand and Sea Suite. And I have to say, I'm looking forward to having another play with it quite soon because I think that's a beautiful suite of products right we have one more live product um, well one more product um, live to go perhaps I should say um, so do come back and join me if you're able to or watch on catch up some other point um, so I will look forward to seeing you hello Emma and goodbye you have to go back and watch us on catch up and um, I'll be back and see you very shortly